wraps up. So to kick off this Halloween season, we shall be starting out with a pretty simple makeup look. Uh, the starlings on TikTok had called this a uh, Pennywise's girlfriend look. So I just did my base, my eyebrows, the whole spiel. So we can just jump right into the fun part. I'm starting out by just simply contouring the face because I won't be able to do it once we get into the actual makeup. So make sure you just contour the face. And a fun game I decided is if you can guess which songs I'm like lip singing to during this video because I actually was singing to a ton of songs, you could get a shout out in the next video. With my low. With an orange shadow, pack it on with a packing brush in the outer corner of the eye, leaving the the rest of the eye for your product. I'm stuttering because you threw me off, Milo. Mm. So just be sure to do that, and we will be blending it out with a lighter orange, don't worry. And yellow and brown, and it's just gonna be a whole thing. Blending, 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 blending. Now here's where it comes with all of this shading. Boys, appreciate what women do because we take hours to blend out our shadows. It does not come easy. I know this looks like a yellow mustardy mess, but do not worry. That is the purpose of blending. So just put in that orange, put that yellow back in and just balance it all up. That's all you gotta do especially when it comes to this brown shade. I'm using a neutral brown color just to put in and above the crease, and I'll be blending that out with the orange and the yellow, and also some clean fluffy brushes while I'm at it. So be sure to do that. Also, can I just say I don't like brown and yellow together, but this is just a transitional shade, so I had to use it. But I would probably not wear yellow eyeshadow and brown eyeshadow together but that's probably just me. I also wouldn't really enjoy wearing black and yellow, to be honest. It just reminds me too much of like a taxi cab or a bumblebee. Fun fact, I've never been stunned by a bumblebee before. Or like any type of bee that has a stinger. Now for those who don't know what I'm doing, I am just using a jelly cream black product and I'm packing this on the eyelid because when you put black eyeshadow on, this will lessen your fallout, especially when you do like your face before you do your eyes. I really like this trick, but it is probably the most tedious thing to do when it comes to blending it out and making it look really nice because of the thick black gel pigment you put down. So this is probably the most time consuming of all of it. Cause just packing down the black shadow is not gonna blend it out enough. You gotta take that brown, put that in your crease, transition it out with the orange, but you're gonna lose black in the process. So you wanna make sure you blend the black in, but then you'll lose a little bit of the brown. So it's really just a, it's like a Russian roulette game, really but it does pay off all this blending and powering through your carpal tunnel because you will get carpal tunnel, trust me, especially when you're doing smoky eyes, but it will be worth it. The first time I did this look, I almost gave up because I just wasn't getting it and even now it doesn't look that great. But I, I cover it up with glitter. Honestly, if you feel like your makeup just isn't popping, cover all your mistakes with glitter. 
smoke out your lower lash line with some black. All that good stuff, some black and the brown transitional color you used. Mascara. Lashes. See, all the mistakes are covered. You can stop here if you want for a just going out to dinner Halloween look with your, uh, with your bae. But if you want to take it to the next level and become Pennywise's gal, here's how you do it. I take a black gel eyeliner. This one is Tarte's Clay Paint Eyeliner. And can you see how focused I'm, I'm, I'm getting? Look at that, look at that. All that focus for the line to end up a little crooked. <laughs> oh, Rita, trying so hard. See, look at that, look. Uh, 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 okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, I put highlight on the inner corner of my eye, by the way. This part's my favorite. I love doing bruising techniques, and I also love shading and mimicking shadows and highlights. So you're gonna be taking the orange you used, a bright red color, and a purple, and you're gonna use numerous brushes and tools for these steps. But start out with orange and blend that out semi-even. You don't want it to be too even because it's just gonna look fake. Also, when you're doing this, stare at a light source. That's what I had to do because one side is gonna have the shading and the bruising and one side will not. That side's gonna have some white eyeshadow to really make it look like it's rising off the face. I'm not going with red, but I'm not gonna blend it out as good as I did with the orange. This instead is gonna be a little blotchy, really, really dark in some places, barely visible in others, and it's really gonna help it look like these were carved in to the skin, and that's what I was going for. This is also really good to get different textures because bruises are not all blotchy brush marks. So I'm taking a very distressed sponge with those colors. There you go. And just patting that around and also going under my cheekbone because that's where the blood would pool. It would pool away from the bone. So I'm carving out where my bone is with the red and then going in with some of that purple and then topping it all off with a little bit of that orange to give it more of a sick look. This is that white shade, it's a white matte eyeshadow. But going back to that sponge, you really don't want to just do up down patty motion swiping it will help because of how the distress sponge looks you can get these almost anywhere um i got mine from amazon and then i have another one i got from like spirit halloween they last you forever and also make sure that you pluck at it so it's all messed up looking you don't want a smooth distress sponge this part was Honestly, something I wasn't going to do. The Joker lips. I'm pretty sure this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just, I'm just gonna shut up. No, yeah, just gonna shut up. Do the shading with a black lip pencil or black pencil of your choice, whatever works for you. But I am so happy that I did this because I, I, I love it. I love it so much. It was so much fun to do. Now you're gonna fill it in with the red lipstick color of your choice. What's funny is I'm really drawing attention to this lipstick and it wasn't the one I wanted to use. This one was actually much darker than when I did this um, as a test trial. With that black gel eyeliner, you're going to blend out the red with the black. It's just to hold, sharpen it all up and make it darker. Back from the dead. 
Well, that is it, darling. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do happen to do any of these types of the makeup, like any makeup that I do, please be sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see it and post it on my story because I love to see what you guys can create, what inspires you. I love it. And also, I love interacting with all of you. All of my social media links are down in the description box below along with my book website, lulu.com, where I sell all of my books. Also, my two promo codes for Orange Juice, the brand, and the third eye eye contact company is down below to save you 10% off your purchases. Please be sure to like this video. It genuinely helps me out. I hope you have a very safe Halloween. Be sure to subscribe. I have tons of spooky content coming your way. And tell me what you would like to see next and what you thought of this Pennywise girlfriend look. But with all that being said, Starlings, I will see you all later.